Well, the Lord is having me record this message today. So this is a first for me. My heart is heavy. Message 239. My children, I have a heavy heart for those who refuse to see that I am the way, the truth, and the life. That only through receiving my salvation and a relationship with me will they see the Father. I have talked to them until they are blue in the face, until I am blue in the face, so to speak, and still they refuse to see, to even listen to the truth of me, my love, mercy, and salvation. I have told you that it is only through receiving my salvation and having a relationship with me so that I can make you a new creation while you see the Father. Otherwise, I will not know you. I have told you that you need to come to me and ask for guidance and understanding before you read the Bible so you can have my understanding and know the truth. Instead, you think the more you read, the more you will understand, and the closer you are to me. Wrong, my loves, it is a, as it is only through my understanding that you will know the truth. I am of the spirit, and the realm of the physical is the realm of the enemy. And truly, nothing of this world will see heaven. So why do you think the words and understanding of man will bring you through? Why do you think going to church once a week makes you holy and righteous? Why do you think following man's religious doctrine is the way to me? I have told you that you must come out of the world and be apart from it. But there is still so many that have said the words in asking for salvation, but have not received it. They've said the words, but did not mean them, or some did not understand them, and they have gone on with their lives in the same old way they had before, and rarely give me a second thought. It is as if you had a wedding ceremony, but ran off and let me, left me standing at the altar, expecting me to be there waiting for you to come to me whenever you need something. What hurts the most is knowing that they think they are fine. And will come when I call my faithful home. They will not. Because they have not been made new creations. They have not had their DNA changed. Yes, once you know my salvation, you are saved. But salvation is a process. Not only do, I ha do you have to ask for it, but you have to let it happen. Being born again is like being born in reverse in that before you are born, you had to develop and grow in your mother. After you ask for salvation is when the process begins. Once you ask me in, ask for and receive forgiveness, are baptized by, and are baptized by the Holy Spirit, then you receive it. You have to receive my one drop of blood and let me change your heart. Once you have completely let me be Lord of your life and let go of everything and let me live in you, let me change you, let me lead you, let me teach you, and let me love you. When I am able to completely work in you and through you is when I am changing you and making you ready to come home. When I am truly Lord of your life and you come out of the world and see the whole world in a whole new way. You will hear me, you will know me, and I will know you. When you completely fall in love with me is when you will be truly and completely mine. People, it really is not hard to understand. It is not hard to do as all I am asking you to do is to love me. Think about it. What do you do when you fall in love? Don't you want only to be with that person and shut out the world? Does not your ever thought, every thought contain them? Do you not think of them first and want only to please them? Aren't you so completely consumed by love that you, your wants are second to them? I am, if I am really your love, your first love, then why are you not with me? Why are you seeking man and his understanding to find me? Why are you not running to me with open arms? Why are your thoughts not consumed by me? Why? Yeshua HaMashiach. This message is pretty, pretty strong and to the point. We truly need to be in love with him to be his. 
what groom would want a bride that is not in love with him? That's all he's asking, is us to completely and truly give him our hearts. Well, guys, I hope this uh, came through all right. Please continue to pray and stay within his will. I definitely am praying for you, and please pray for me. Take care, and until the next message, good night.